What is up, everybody? It's a new week in the NFL. It's week seven. Week six is behind us. I went nine and three. Daniel went eight and four. Uh, so you can see our overall records on the screen. In addition to that, there are two games being played on Monday Night Football. We have the Bills versus the Chiefs. I picked the Bills to win, and Daniel picked the Chiefs. So that will ultimately add a point to one of our records. And then we both chose the Cardinals to beat the Cowboys because, you know, the Cowboys are going to get burned in the secondary. But it's a new week in the NFL, a whole new week of predictions. So here we go. Let's get right into it. On Thursday night, we have my team. Oh, I'm honestly ashamed to say that. Playing the New York Giants. The Philadelphia Eagles are playing the New York Giants. Carson Wentz, it was too little. Well, actually, it was too much, but it was way too late. The Eagles decided to step things up late in the game. Injuries have been brutal. The entire offense, there's two actual starters, Jason Kelsey and Carson Wentz. Uh, Miles Sanders is injured now, which is really sketchy. Uh, if, if, you know, if Wentz can will the Eagles to a two-point loss to the Ravens, I'm going to have faith in him to beat the New York Giants. So hopefully that happens on Thursday Night Football. Next up, we have the Carolina Panthers against the New Orleans Saints. This is going to be an interesting battle in the NFC South. Um, the Panthers just came off a tough loss to the Bears, and the Saints had a bye week to prepare for this game. Give me the Saints in this game. Michael Thomas should be back, barring any other fist fights he decides to get into. Stay away from the bar, Michael Thomas. Then we have the New York Jets against the Buffalo Bills. All right, so I haven't seen the Bills play, but I'm choosing them to beat the Chiefs. Uh, honestly, even if they lose to the Chiefs, it'll probably be a somewhat close game. I wouldn't be surprised if they still let up a lot of points on defense, but I do want to see the Bills offense function highly. Uh, wait, why am I even talking about this game? Oh, I forgot. Sorry, sorry. It's against the Jets. The Bills win right here. Then we have the Cincinnati Bengals versus Cleveland Browns. Uh, the Browns, they didn't look good, all right? I don't know how, they're, how they were 4-1 at that point. I haven't really watched many of their games. Uh, up until the Steelers game, and they got destroyed by a division rival in a, in a game that was on paper, should have been the game of the week. It wasn't. They got destroyed. Um, honestly, the Bengals, who the Bengals, I kind of like the Bengals now that I'm looking at it, but um, I'm going to give this win to the Cleveland Browns, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Bengals keep this game close. And then we have the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington football team. Uh, this is actually going to be an interesting game because can Washington's offense finally find some momentum? They haven't really found their quarterback. Kyle Allen did not look good. I'd like to see Alex Smith be here. We all want to see Alex Smith back to his former self, but is that a, is that a reality? Who knows? Um, they got to use Terry McLaurin more. He's their only good player on offense. You know, it's it's just not good. I, I haven't seen it. Like I said, Cowboys haven't played yet, but I'm assuming Andy Dalton should inherit that offense in a similar way to Dak. I still think the Cowboys can put up points. Uh, their defense is going to be a problem all year, but the Cowboys will score more than the Washington football team. Cowboys win here in a close, uh, maybe not so close, but the Cowboys definitely win. Then we have the Packers versus the Texans. Oh, Green Bay. Green Bay got embarrassed on um, on Sunday. It was it was bad. It was really bad. Aaron Rodgers, you know, he got his team a 10-0 lead, and then he threw a pick six. And then after that pick six, 10-7, obviously. Devontae Adams on a quick slant right through Devontae Adams' hands. It hits off of his hands. And there was another pick. Oh, Aaron Rodgers was fuming. Then we have the Houston Texans. The Texans, uh, they, they held close with the Tennessee Titans. You know, if overtime wasn't decided by a coin toss, the Texans could have beat the Titans in an upset. So like I said before, I'm high on Deshaun Watson. Everyone should be too. He's very underrated because of the team he's with. Uh, he, he's able to keep games close. Don't overreact to the Packers' loss. The Packers should be favored to win this game. And after that, we have the Detroit Lions against the Atlanta Falcons. Let's go. I told you. I told you all. First off, at the beginning of the year, I predicted the Lions to be 11-5, which easily could still be a thing if the Lions didn't troll all of those leads earlier in the season. The Lions are a good team, and um, you know it's, it's just tough for some people to see it the way that they play in the fourth quarter. But like I said last week, I said the Lions offense was going to get things going against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they definitely did that, scoring 40 points. And then they played the Atlanta Falcons, who also had a really big game in Week 6 against the Minnesota Vikings, where they scored 40 points. So it's going to be a close game here. It's in Atlanta. I'm taking the Detroit Lions. Don't let me down, Detroit. Steelers versus Titans. All right, this is, this is a really good game. I'm still not 100% sold on the Pittsburgh Steelers. In my opinion, they've had a very, very easy schedule for the first six weeks. 
Then we have the Tennessee Titans. The Titans have been, they're undefeated. The Titans are an undefeated team. Right now, this is basically for the first seed in the AFC if the playoffs ended today. This is a good matchup. If the Steelers win this game, then I'm going to give them props. I'm going to say, you know, Pittsburgh, you are a good team. I was, I'm not going to say I was wrong because I have picked Pittsburgh in all their games. But I am going to say that they are a very good playoff contender and debatably we're going to get the first seed in the AFC. And if Tennessee wins this game, then you know what? Tennessee, you know, you're also a contender too, but I'm still not 100% sold because if Tennessee wins this game in a blowout, then it means Pittsburgh might be a little bit overrated. Tennessee wins, in my opinion. It'll be close though, and it'll be a good matchup. Next up, we have a very good matchup in the Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinals. All right, stay away from this game. Uh, this game is always fluky. Yeah, and when I'm saying that, the Seattle Seahawks and Arizona Cardinals, obviously divisional matchups. The Seahawks always play weird games against the Cardinals. Low scoring, weird, weird plays. It's just, it's just, it's hard to predict these games. It's in Arizona. I like the Cardinals, you know, team as a whole. But the Seahawks are just so good. It's gonna, it's so hard to pick against Seattle. But I am. Let's go upset i think the arizona cardinals have a decent chance at beating the seattle seahawks i think and i give the cardinals realistically a 30 percent chance to win this game the seahawks are undefeated you know 30 percent chance i'll take that 30 percent chance any day let's make us some ground on dan i'm taking the cardinals to win this game uh you know what let's go cardinals next up we have the kansas city chiefs versus the, the denver broncos uh chiefs win this game it shouldn't be that close the broncos you know, they honestly didn't even play that good against the Patriots. I didn't see the whole game. It was really boring, in my opinion, Broncos versus Patriots. But I expect the Chiefs to put up big points. If the Chiefs lose this game, then something's wrong with their team. And look out for Le'Veon Bell. This should be his first game in action with the Chiefs. And then we have Jaguars versus Chargers. Yeah, I don't care about this game. Neither should you. Uh, I do want to see Justin Herbert. I think Justin Herbert is slowly developing to a star before our eyes. But besides Justin Herbert, you know, I ain't, I'm not watching this game. I'm not going to go out of my way to watch this game. Uh, you know, there's th there's three other games besides, besides this in the late window. And, you know, I'll probably be watching those instead. But if I had to choose a team, which I do, I'm going with the who, Los Angeles Chargers to win this game. 49ers versus Patriots. This will be a good matchup. Uh, but I'm not picking the 49ers to win. You know, I just, I, I, uh, the Patriots didn't look good. 49ers are the 49ers. I'm picking Scam Newton to win this game. Scam Newton, don't scam me. Please win this game against the 49ers. But if you don't, I'll be very upset. And then we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, the team with Tom Brady <laughs> against the Las Vegas Raiders. This will be a very good matchup on Sunday Night Football. Tom Brady definitely showed up. No, he didn't, bro. Tom Brady didn't show up, but don't say that. You know, obviously they destroyed the Green Bay Packers. I don't think the Tampa Bay offense was OP. Now, the Tampa Bay offense definitely has been making strides and leaps. But after the Tampa Bay defense played the way it did, the game was just over. The Tampa Bay defense definitely showed up against uh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, it was a fluke game. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But don't give Tom Brady the credit because I would not give Tampa Bay's defense 100% of the credit. And then we have the Las Vegas Raiders who just beat the Chiefs. And I believe they had a bye week. Uh, let's check. Yeah, so the Raiders didn't play in week six. And their last game was against the Chiefs, which they won in an upset. It's in Las Vegas. It's Tom Brady. There's their car. It's a tough matchup. But give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I like the way that their defense played. You know, they have a, they have a lot of talent on offense. So if their defense can start showing up, then they're going to be a scary team. Monday Night Football. Oh, this is a banger. Nick Foles versus the Los Angeles Rams. We all remember in that miraculous season, Carson Wentz goes down with a torn ACL. Nick Foles comes in, inherits the game, and finishes the win against Los Angeles. Yeah, you know, I'm one for fairy tale. I, I like the underdog. Let's give Nick Foles a win on Sunday Night Football against the Los Angeles Rams. This should tell us a lot about the Bears as a whole. Right now, they're 5-1. and one. Some people are skeptical. If the Bears win this game, then they're a contender for sure. All right, those are all the picks for week seven. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah. Don't hate too much on the Cardinals pick, all right? I'm a sucker for the underdog. And uh, with that, subscribe, like, and comment, and there you go.